from NCI without having to spin up a cluster or reusing kind of existing containerized infrastructure. Um, or from the development side where I'm on a Linux laptop and I want to spin up a multi-node Kubernetes cluster in Docker, um, right? So I think there's opportunities um, for working on that um, in both Minikube and uh, Kind. And I think that's a really exciting place to, to be right now. Yes, and Kind is definitely picking up contributors there as well. So that's really cool. Um, all right. So let's move on to a question that was asked several weeks ago, actually, um, because sometimes we get code base tour requests and um, we have one today. Vlad's going to do CSI code base tour, uh, which is super awesome. Vlad, do you want to take it away? Share your screen? Yes. Yeah. And I if, will do that. And while you do that, if folks are out there and want a code base tour of anything special, or if you want dependencies explained, or if you're ruffling through the code and say this whole entire section is just a mishmash, I have no idea what I'm looking at, this is the place for you. We've done Kubernetes, Kubernetes here as well. We're going to do Cube Builder uh, next month. We'll also have the, a scheduler next month. Um, so we're going to pick apart some of this together. All right, let me completely forgot about that part of the, all right. I think... We're just so into the questions and answers. <laughs> I was, I was. Uh, this is it's... way easier than I thought. <laughs> <laughs> Can you see my screen? You're good to go here. And looks right. good on YouTube, according to Jeff and chat. Okay, so I don't need to. I'll bump it up just in case. So um, as we were saying, um, we'll focus on CSI as far as uh, uh, storage. And there are multiple levels to, to the code base when it comes to, to, uh, to storage. CSI in particular has, um, has uh, two main portion. There is the internal uh, kubelet work, um, uh, controllers and um, what, I would, what I call a, a CSI adapter internally, and then we have the external component. So we'll, we'll look at both real quick. Um, so I am at the uh, Kubernetes Kubernetes, and I've already clicked on PKG. And if you scroll all the way down, you'll see volume. Um, and by the way, there are other portion of this that we're not going to uh, look at, which is the, the kind of the internals that drive all this. Um, but we don't need to go that far up or that far down the uh, abstraction chain. So inside here, you can see all the internal um, drivers. And this is the way we used to do um, um, storage, uh, maybe about a year or so ago. And basically the way we did storage is every vendor, storage vendor would come in and try to get their own um, Go packages inside that particular uh, directory and work at it and, and write code against the internal volume API. Well, that works uh, great, but uh, there are two things that um, was against it. One is that you were working against uh, uh, Kubernetes, Kubernetes, so you had to have the stringent code reviews, and you were uh, pegged to the uh, the release cycle of Kubernetes. And uh, the other thing that was a strike against this is the fact that um, it was growing the code base. Um, and um, you know, if something, if there was a build failure or uh, uh, um, here it could take down the entire uh, um, um, building uh, structure for the code. So then we did CSI. CSI itself is, an inter like I was saying, is an, an internal um, uh, driver that uses the underlying volume mechanism that's inside Kubernetes. And what that allowed us to do is to leverage the existing, um, uh, the existing constructs that are built inside Kubernetes for uh, for uh, storage, such as uh, PVs and PVCs, etc. Now, inside uh, CSI, this is um, all of the, and it, it has grown since since uh, we started, maybe about a year and a half ago. Um, 
and we see the all of the different um, Go files that makes uh, CSI works. Um, and each one of these files and their accompanying te uh, tests um, basically implements a portion of the internal uh, volume API. For instance, we have a CSI plugin, which implements the plugin um, um, a portion of the API. Uh, we have mounter, which implements the uh, mounting uh, portion of the API. We have an attacher, which basically does, uh, as the name suggests, it implements the, att uh, the attacher portion of the API. Now, this portion of the code when it runs internally, um, will um, at a high level intercept um, API requests that comes in for volume operations. And once it receives, once it intercepts these, these calls, it delegates that call to the external components of, of CSI. And part of the CSI um, uh, contract is, is so that uh, vendors have to write code against a, a, uh, a gRPC um, interface. Um, and once you, when you create your, your driver and you implement your driver against that interface, um, Kubernetes will automatically know how to talk to your driver using that gRPC interface. So that, that's a super high level um like 50,000 foot view of of what's going on um so let's look at the external components uh we'll look at the let's see this is the uh this is the um the kubernetes dash csi uh repository and this is where we keep all of the uh, consequential external components that make up um, that allows us to to that allow a, a a driver author to to participate and to deploy a um, a CSI um, um, driver. Um, you'll see that we have several external dash components, and these are sidecar components that a a uh, driver author would. Uh, would deploy along with their driver to add functionality. For instance, if you want, um, if you're <clears throat> deploying a driver that supports snapshot, you would um, make use of this um, uh, sidecar. If you do an external attachment, you would use uh, this uh, this sidecar. Uh, we have the docs. Uh, uh, this is very recent. We have a resizer, which allows you to do um in, pl in place resizing of of your volumes um and then we have an external provisioner uh, which is another sidecar that will allow you to create um your volume um as as uh, as needed um there's also in here there's also uh some uh, what we call they, they're, they're like demo um drivers and they're fully functional drivers, not recommended for production, but gives you an idea of how some of the drivers work and how if if you were uh, interested in creating your own CSI driver, um, uh, it gives you a starting point. So one of the one driver that we use a lot of is the CSI host path driver, um, and it is a an implementation of the existing host path driver that we have inside kubernetes but this one is a csi specific one and it like i said it's a functional driver it has all the different uh all the different um, constructs that you need to create a fully functional driver so a lot of people when they're starting out creating their own csi driver they come here and look to see how this works um and then there are other um so the, actually, this has grown since the last time I looked at it, and we could see additional uh, drivers um, and other components um, that are part of um, that are part of the external CS, uh, CSI uh, repo. Um, and then we also have the documentation section. 
And this is the Kubernetes dash CSI um, doc. Uh, we saw that repo inside the Kubernetes um, um, inside the Kubernetes repo. And the doc as actually this is a great area for um, anybody who's interested and want to start contributing. Um, you know, we with with uh, juggling writing code and writing documents. A lot of us do the best we can, but um, documentation usually suffers. But again, this is certainly an area we can use more hands uh, to keep it updated. But um, there was a big effort done uh, toward the end of last year and earlier this year to bring a lot of, a lot of the documents um, up to speed. So I think it's, a, it's in a better shape now, but definitely can use um, um, additional help. Um, was there anything else you wanted to see? Um, uh, no, Paris, or? I think this is, I think this was great. Okay. Michelle, would I'll you, see what about, like, is there, it was there any, are there any yeah. about the code base like that you want to call out as far as like crazy dependencies or like things that people don't realize that like only the owners know that you've, that you've encountered? Yeah, so if you go back to the um, the Kubernetes CSI GitHub uh, page, um, two over to the left. Two over two to the over. left, this yeah. guy? Yeah, 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 and you scroll up to the top again, towards the top. You'll see, uh, I just wanted to point out here on some of these repositories, you'll see, you know, X issues needs help. So, uh, if you're a new contributor and you're interested in uh, getting started out, you can like take a look at these repositories where they we have we have the help wanted uh, tags on there. Oh, just is it? Or here, so like um, at the bottom where it says like go and the number of stars. Oh, okay. Stuff, there's like a here it says one issue needs help. Oh, then, I see. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, this guy. Okay, let's see what's going on here. There you go. Try to make it as easy as possible. <laughs> That's good. That's really good. Um, yeah. Sweet. No, this was great. Um, and let me make sure that I've answered all of the questions in chat. Hold on one sec, don't move. I've answered everything in my direct messages and it looks like we've answered everything in Slack. Let me go to Twitter. In the meantime, do y'all have any questions for each other? Anything you've always wanted to ask a Minikube maintainer? Anything you've always wanted to ask storage professionals? <laughs> Speak now or forever hold your peace, panelists. All right. Well, I feel like y'all know where each other, you, you know where each other <laughs> lives. So if you had something you'd ask directly. Uh, but that's it for today. <laughs>